So I must have been breaking the news the last couple of days because I've been talking about Tia Fimo and Ryan Garcia, and now they have conversations about possibly fighting when Ryan Garcia gets off his suspension. Because the last couple of days, I guess the media didn't hurt me, my little numbers, my little 50 views. Somebody didn't went past the video hearing because uh, they didn't hurt me talking about Ryan Garcia and Tia Fimo. I had to be. Because ain't no way Ryan Garcia and Tia Fimo Lopez is in negotiations enough for another year straight. Now, this must be this is probably the second, third year straight they talking about being in negotiations when both of them don't have a fight. Why would Tia Fimo turn down Devin Haney and Brian Norman Jr. so he could fight Ryan Garcia, who's not even off suspension right now? Huh? How is he gonna fight him when he's still technically on top rank? And they report now, yeah, well, Ryan Garcia, he possibly thinking about Tia Fimo Lopez next year. Tia Fimo Lopez? He could have been for Tia Fimo Lopez last year if he wanted to pay him the money. Ryan Garcia got all this money. He couldn't He couldn't make sure Tia Fimo Lopez went home with a million dollars. Tia Fimo Lopez just came out recently and said, hey, man, I'm trying to go home with a million dollars. Brian Norman said that recently. Everybody said, he ducking, he ducking. Last time I checked, so who's... So do I have to do a video today asking who's the bigger fighter, Tiafimo Lopez or Brian Norman Jr.? Do I have to do that today? Because right now, Brian Norman Jr. say, nah, man, I need over a million to get me a fight with Boots right now. I'll take the fight right now. And then people talking about Tiafimo, he don't take nothing but, see, everybody don't act like they don't know the analogies. But then Tiafimo, well, Tiafimo, he ain't never took a million dollars home. So that's why certain fights don't happen for him. I thought he was uh the next. I thought he was the takeover. I thought he was the guy that. I thought Benavidez and Crawford was that ones out here looking for paydays. Now they talking about Tiafimo Lopez looking for a payday. Then he's in talks for the Ryan Garcia fight. He ain't gonna get paid. I thought Ryan Garcia was the money man. Why he can't get a big payday with Ryan Garcia? Why every time he's talking to Ryan Garcia and stuff, he get more money. I heard the same money he got for Steve Claggett he was going to get for Ryan Garcia fight. And people going to say, well, that's Bob. Well, hey, you should have known it already. He don't, he re-signed with Bob after complaining. You can keep the black fighters and then re-sign with Bob. That don't make no sense. Why are you re-signing with Bob if you're not really trying to be on top rank? And then, the re, then after you re-sign, you change your mind and then you can't do that. But at the end of the day, um, they talking about Ryan Garcia, TFO, and Lopez because they know these guys ain't going to fight each other. They're just going to use that to, for both guys to promote each other right now. So I can't associate my name with Crawford right now because don't nobody take me serious. So let me go ahead and just put my name with T, uh, Ryan Garcia because both of us ain't got a fight right now. We ain't trying to fight nobody tough. We ain't trying to fight none of these guys we talking about in interviews and calling out. We ain't trying to fight the guys who's worse than them. We ain't trying to fight the guys like Boots Ennis. So instead of instead of Tia Fimo and Ryan Garcia calling out Boots Ennis, guess what they do? They're looking to fight at 147. Really? That's the news? And I'm going to talk about it. Because everybody want to talk about Devin Haney. Devin Haney ain't, ain't none of these dudes' favorite fighter, but they got a video about him or something every week. Every two weeks, three weeks. I, right now, I just feel like uh, reporting on Tia Fimo and Ryan Garcia. And it might be alive today. Because these dudes talking about fighting each other. And you got all these fighters out here at 47. So, Brian Norman Jr. ain't good enough for Tia Fimo to fight for a title. He would rather fight somebody with no title than somebody with a title. And Bob Aaron went out there and got him to fight with a title. Man, Bob Aaron took, I don't care, man, Bob Aaron took care of this guy. Hey, Bob, you got to, bro, you got to do one of us like that, bro. For real. I don't know, Bob, the way this dude getting help right now. And Bob, Bob almost ready to quit on him because he know this guy ain't real. I don't know, Bob, the way you, the way this guy moving right now. I don't know. I might have to uh, try to invest in this situation. Man.
the way top rank moving right now, they they got TFM on any kind of fight he can name. Stu turned down Devin Haney and Brian Norman. Ain't finna fight, try to fight. Well, he ain't finna try to fight Ryan Garcia. Until I see it, I don't believe it, homie. I can pull up some uh, papers right now talking about Ryan Garcia fighting Tiafimo last year, how he tried to fight him. Him and Tank. So, nah. No way. No way. I definitely see what's going on. Tiafimo trying to wait until he get off top rank, take one of these fights so he can get a bigger bag. But shoot, you taking the bag you want. This the bag you did want. It was a big deal when you when you first started getting the bag, but now it's not a big deal no more. I don't understand. Now it's not a million dollars after you go through everything. And we are here calling out fighters. Dudes need to get their business together first before they start doing all this. What you gonna do? Set up a fight with Ryan Garcia and still be upset with your pay? Yeah, but Ryan Garcia, this is a crazy uh, situation. Ryan Garcia ain't trying to fight nobody, man. He ain't trying to fight nobody. He's trying to fight the guy that's around his age or a little older if it's a payday. But other than that, like I said, bro ain't going to be out here long, man. He ain't, he ain't going to be out here long. Not out here fighting top competition. I hope everybody realized that. He ain't going to be out here long. He had a chance. And I gave him a lot of credit last year after he lost and quit. But he ain't got no chance like that, man. He's It's a wrap for him. Sorry to tell you, bro. Quit. We didn't quit on you around here. Long time ago we have. But as far as even a second chance that you even doing something in the sporting game, Tia Fimo name come up, two guys who one of them who ain't had a knockout in so long and the other guy who needed help for a knockout. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Let's definitely see how that goes. Ain't gonna last long.